Hi everyone, Zach Pickoff here, and welcome back to another lesson video. Today, I will be doing a review video of the Chapter 2 Lessons. So let's jump right into the video. Okay, so as I had stated before, I'm going to be doing a review video of the Chapter 2 Lessons. So Chapter 2 is about analyzing transactions into debit and credit parts. In addition to studying this chapter, we will also be learning about how to define accounting terms related to analyzing transactions into debit and credit parts, identify accounting practices related to analyzing transactions into debit and credit parts, use T-accounts to analyze transactions showing which accounts are debited or credited for each transaction, analyze how transactions to set up a business affect accounts, and finally, analyze how transactions affect owner's equity accounts. All right, so now that I have read over the learning objectives, let's jump right into the review of the chapter two lessons. Alrighty, so now we're going to be moving on to the chapter two review lessons, which are all of the lessons in chapter two. And in this first lesson, we will be learning about how to use T-accounts. Okay, so to start this review of the Chapter 2 lessons, there are a bunch of key terms that I would like to go over. So a T-account is an accounting device that is used to analyze transactions. A debit is an amount that is recorded on the left side. A credit is an amount that is recorded on the right side. And the normal balance of an account is the side of the account that is increased. All right, next we're going to be talking about analyzing the accounting equation. So when we analyze the accounting equation, any asset account will be recorded on the left side, and any liability or owner's equity account will be recorded on the right side. Okay, next we're going to be talking about accounts. So as I said in the previous slide, any asset account will be recorded on the left side and any liability or owner's equity account will be recorded on the right side. Now, for a T account, the left side of the accounting equation is the debit side and the right side of the accounting equation is the credit side. All right, next we're going to be talking about account balances. So for any asset account, it will have a normal debit balance. For any liability account, it will have a normal credit balance. And for any owner's capital account, it will also have a normal credit balance. Okay, 
So the last thing that we're going to be talking about in this lesson are increases and decreases in accounts. So for any asset account, it will increase by a debit and decrease by a credit. For any liability account, it will increase by a credit and decrease by a debit. And for any owner's capital account, it will also increase by a credit and decrease by a debit. All right, so that is the end of the 2-1 text. Now we're going to be moving on to the 2-2 text. Okay, so now we're going to be moving on to the 2-2 text, which is the second lesson in Chapter 2. And in this lesson, we will be analyzing how transactions affect accounts. All right, so there is just one key term that I would like to go over before we start the review part of this lesson. So a chart of accounts is a list of accounts that is used by a business. Okay, next we're going to be talking about recording a transaction in a T account relating to buying supplies on account. So this first transaction reads on August 7th, bought supplies on account from Supply Depot, $500. All right. So when we record a transaction in a T account relating to buying supplies on account, there are multiple steps that we have to follow in order to complete this process. First, we need to figure out which accounts are affected. So the accounts that are affected are supplies and accounts payable supply depot. Next, we need to figure out how each account is classified. So supplies are an asset account and accounts payable supply depot is a liability account. After that, we need to figure out how each account classification is changed. So both of the accounts are being increased. And finally, we need to figure out how each amount is entered into the accounts. So supplies will have a normal debit balance of $500, and accounts payable supply depot will have a normal credit balance of $500. All right. Next, we're going to be talking about recording a transaction in a T account relating to receiving cash from an owner as an investment. So this next transaction reads, on August 1st, received cash from owner as an investment, $5,000. Okay. So when we record a transaction in a T account relating to receiving cash from an owner as an investment, there are multiple steps that we have to follow in order to complete this process. 
First, we need to figure out which accounts are affected. So the accounts that are being affected are cash and the owner's capital account, which is Kim Park Capital. Next, we need to figure out how each account is classified. So cash is an asset account, and Kim Park Capital is an owner's equity account. After that, we need to figure out how each account classification is changed. So as you can see, both of the accounts are being increased. And finally, we need to figure out how each amount is entered into the accounts. So cash will have a normal debit balance of $5,000 and will be increased, and Kim Park Capital will have a normal credit balance of $5,000 and will also be increased. Okay, next we're going to be talking about recording a transaction in a T account relating to paying cash for supplies. So this next transaction reads, on August 3rd, paid cash for supplies, $275. All right. So when we record a transaction in a T account relating to paying cash for supplies, there are multiple steps that we have to follow in order to complete this process. First, we need to figure out which accounts are affected. So the accounts that are being affected are supplies and cash. Next, we need to figure out how each account is classified. So supplies and cash are both asset accounts. After that, we need to figure out how each account classification is changed. So supplies is being increased and cash is being decreased. And finally, we need to figure out how each amount is entered into the accounts. So supplies will have a normal debit balance of $275 and will be increased, and cash will be decreased by a credit of $275. All right, next we're gonna be talking about recording a transaction in a T account relating to paying cash for insurance. So this next transaction reads, on August 4th, paid cash for insurance, $1,200. Okay. So when we record a transaction in a T account relating to paying cash for insurance, there are multiple steps that we have to follow in order to complete this process. First, we need to figure out which accounts are affected. So the accounts that are being affected are prepaid insurance and cash. Next, we need to figure out how each account is classified. 
So prepaid insurance and cash are both asset accounts. After that, we need to figure out how each account classification is changed. So prepaid insurance is being increased and cash is being decreased. And finally, we need to figure out how each amount is entered into the accounts. So prepaid insurance will have a normal debit balance of $1,200 and will be increased. And cash will be decreased by a credit of $1,200. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to be talking about in this lesson is recording a transaction in a T account relating to paying cash on account. So this transaction reads, on August 11th, paid cash on account to Supply Depot $300. All right. So when we record a transaction in a T account relating to paying cash on account, there are multiple steps that we have to follow in order to complete this process. First, we need to figure out which accounts are being affected. So the accounts that are being affected are cash and accounts payable supply depot. Next, we need to figure out how each account is classified. So cash is an asset account and accounts payable supply depot is a liability account. After that, we need to figure out how each account classification is changed. So as you can see, both of the accounts are being decreased. And finally, we need to figure out how each amount is entered into the accounts. So accounts payable supply depot will be decreased by a debit of $300 and cash will be decreased by a credit of $300. All right, so that is the end of the 2-2 text. Now we're going to be moving on to the 2-3 text, which is the final lesson in chapter 2. Okay, so now we're going to be moving on to the 2-3 text, which is the third and final lesson in chapter 2. And in this lesson, we will be analyzing how transactions affect owner's equity accounts. All right, so to start this final lesson in chapter two, we're going to be talking about recording a transaction in a T account relating to receiving cash from sales. So this transaction reads on August 12th, received cash from sales, $295. Okay. So when we record a transaction in a T account relating to receiving cash from sales, there are 
multiple steps that we have to follow in order to complete this process. First, we need to figure out which accounts are affected. So the accounts that are affected are cash and sales. Next, we need to figure out how each account is classified. So cash is an asset account and sales is a revenue account that is part of owner's equity. After that, we need to figure out how each account classification is changed. So as you can see, both of the accounts are being increased. And finally, we need to figure out how each amount is entered into the accounts. So cash will have a normal debit balance of $295 and will be increased, and sales will have a normal credit balance of $295 and will also be increased. Okay, next we're going to be talking about recording a transaction in a T account relating to selling services on account. So this next transaction reads, on August 12th, sold services on account to Oakdale School, $350. All right. So when we record a transaction in a T account relating to selling services on account, there are multiple steps that we have to follow in order to complete this process. First, we need to figure out which accounts are affected. So the accounts that are affected are accounts receivable, Oakdale School, and sales. Next, we need to figure out how each account is classified. So accounts receivable, Oakdale School, is an asset account, and sales is a revenue account that is part of owner's equity. After that, we need to figure out how each account classification is changed. So as you can see, both of the accounts are being increased. And finally, we need to figure out how each amount is entered into the accounts. So accounts receivable, Oakdale School, will have a normal debit balance of $350 and will be increased. And sales will have a normal credit balance of $350 and will also be increased. All right, next we're going to be talking about recording a transaction in a T account relating to paying cash for an expense. So this next transaction reads, on August 12th, paid cash for rent, $300. Okay. So when we record a transaction in a T account relating to paying cash for an expense, there are multiple steps that we have to follow in order to complete this process. First, 
we need to figure out which accounts are affected. So the accounts that are being affected are cash and rent expense. Next, we need to figure out how each account is classified. So cash is an asset account and rent expense is an expense account that is part of owner's equity. After that, we need to figure out how each account classification is changed. So rent expense is being increased by a debit and cash is being decreased by a credit. And finally, we need to figure out how each amount is entered into the accounts. So rent expense will have a normal debit balance of $300 and will be increased, and cash will be decreased by a credit of $300. Okay, next we're going to be talking about recording a transaction in a T account relating to receiving cash on account. So this next transaction reads on August 18th received cash on account from Oakdale School $200. Alright, so when we record a transaction in a T account relating to receiving cash on account, there are multiple steps that we have to follow in order to complete this process. First, we need to figure out which accounts are affected. So the accounts that are being affected are cash and accounts receivable Oakdale School. Next, we need to figure out how each account is classified. So cash and accounts receivable, Oakdale School, are both asset accounts. After that, we need to figure out how each account classification is changed. So cash is being increased and accounts receivable, Oakdale School, is being decreased. And finally, we need to figure out how each amount is entered into the accounts. So cash will have a normal debit balance of $200 and will be increased, and accounts receivable Oakdale School will be decreased by a credit of $200. All right, so the last thing that we're going to be talking about in this lesson is recording a transaction in a T account relating to paying cash to an owner for personal use. So this last transaction reads on August 12th, paid cash to owner for personal use $125. Okay, so when we record a transaction in a T account relating to paying cash to an owner for personal use, there are multiple steps that we have to follow in order to complete this process. First, we need to figure out which accounts are being affected. 
So the accounts that are being affected are cash and the owner's drawing account, which is Kim Park drawing. Next, we need to figure out how each account is classified. So cash is an asset account and Kim Park drawing is a drawing account that is part of owner's equity. After that, we need to figure out how each account classification is changed. So Kim Park drawing is being increased by a debit and cash is being decreased by a credit. And finally, we need to figure out how each amount is entered into the accounts. So Kim Park drawing will have a normal debit balance of $125 and will be increased and cash will be decreased by a credit of $125. Alright, so that is the end of the two dash three text, and it's also the end of the chapter two review lessons. So in the next video, I will be going over the chapter two auditing for errors. Okay, hope to see you there. Bye.